uh, we're going to work on a no cost extension. So a couple things to think about. Um, are there going to be an extended funds? Uh, is there additional time that's going to be required to achieve the goals of the award, not just because the money is left over? And what is the process to request a no cost extension? Uh, do you have a departmental policy or process? Do you have an institutional process? What's the agency's process? These are all things that you want to be familiar with. Um, a couple of other potential issues that could be related to a no cost extension might be sub awards. If you're going to request a no cost extension, are you going to request and are you going to allow a no cost extension period to your sub award on that project? Um, I have a faculty member that has a consortium and there are 82 sub awards. 82. And we requested a no cost extension. And part of me thinks that the no cost extension would have just been necessary just to close out all those sub awards. But uh, we really, you know, we had a conversation when we were going to request a when we request the extension and said, you know, what do we want to do about the subs? Do we want to give them more time or do we want to have them end when they should have originally ended? And what we decided was we, we were going to just treat it on a case-by-case -case basis. We didn't tell them they could have more time. We didn't tell them that we were going to request a no-cost extension, but the people that had high balances, we, we checked in with them. We determined, you know, we came up with a plan. And the nice thing is this award is ending in July. Of the 82 subs, I have about six or seven that are still open. Um, a couple of them are actually, we gave them an extension all the way to like 30 days before our last invoice was due. But hopefully, I mean, with all of those, that's such a large amount of, of tracking and so much work that our grant administrator has to do in our sponsored research office that it was just, it was kind of a necessary thing. Also, we were tying up loose ends and things like that. Um, another thing, you know, effort. In my department when I came in, my faculty members didn't realize that when you ask for a no-cost extension that the effort that they originally committed also really was also for that no-cost extension period. That if they committed a month of summer, that they were going to have to commit a month of summer in the no-cost extension period. So when we were talked about having, you know, su submitting for a no-cost extension, we talked about, okay, how much effort do you want to commit? What, what will the money support? How much time are you going to need to do the work? And how are we going to pay for it? Do we ask for a reduction? Let's put that reduction, you know, let's ask for that right in the no-cost extension. So then we don't have to worry about it after the fact when we're making sure at the closeout that effort has been met. So those are just a couple of additional tips uh, when you're thinking about, or considerations when you're thinking about a no-cost extension.